With rain continuing to fall, I have those details coming up as 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Working for you. This is WBOY, now in high definition. 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Good evening and welcome to 12 News Weekend Edition. I'm Gina Cadigan. Thanks for joining us. Some severe weather moving through our area. A lot of rain to start off the new year, which can be dangerous in some situations on the road and lead to some possibility for flooding. Josh has been tracking this storm all day. He's here to tell us more in our first forecast. Josh. Thanks, Gina. Yes, we do have some severe weather across the region. We have flood warnings that are it's set to expire at around 2.30 tomorrow morning for Richie Doddridge, Harrison, Lewis, Gilmer, Gilmer, um, Calhoun, Wharton, Wood counties. So make sure if you are out and about, be extra careful getting back to the house. Uh, just drive safe and slowly do not go through any open water with that. If there's any water on the roads, make sure you are being extra careful. Don't drive through them. Turn around, find a different way to get there. But if we take a look, flood warning does continue through the early morning, and I'll have those full details coming up in just a bit. Gina? Thanks, Josh. To ring in 2022, the United Hospital Center in Bridgeport welcomed their first baby of the year this morning. Just before 4 a.m., Jennifer Park gave birth to a healthy baby girl and named her Gianna. She weighed seven pounds and one ounce and was just over 19 inches long. Park's due date was yesterday, and when her baby didn't come, she said she wasn't trying to have a New Year's baby on purpose. She also says that all of her kids had been born a week late, so she thought she had more time before she went into labor. I've never gone into labor like at home. I've never had contractions or anything like that at home. So um, when I woke up and had contractions, uh, I wait. I waited a minute, not long, because I could tell they were strong. But it was it was different. It was different to have to actually last minute get stuff together, get in the car and go. I I have never had to do that before. Park says she hopes all the good New Year baby superstitions are true and that they get some good luck. And WVU Medicine Children's welcome its first baby of 2022. Parents Kaylee Rankin and Michael Thorpe welcomed baby girl Adeline, Adeline Louise Thorpe to the world. She was born at exactly midnight, making her the first baby born at WVU Medicine's JW Ruby Memorial Hospital in 2022. Mother and baby are healthy and resting right now. Adeline is the couple's very first child. Now, stepping into the new year, today naturalists offered guided first day hikes at Tiger Lake State Park, and the rain didn't turn West Virginians away. Officials say the goal of hiking is to get people out of the house, become more active, and get the new year started on the right foot. With a new year, that means new opportunities to travel and explore the mountain state and all it has to offer. We hiked on the school bus loop trail, which is on the campground end of the park. It is a two mile loop. It goes through some of the original farmland and uh, older uh, areas of the park. Park officials say the hikes have grown in popularity over the past few years and have started offering incentive patches for the specialty hike. A group of people took a dip into the Tiger Valley River this morning. Ten people were raising money for the Barber County Emergency Medical Squad by participating in the 16th annual Philippi Polar Plunge. There was concern about the water level of the river leading up to today, but it had gone down enough for the boat entrance to be used just like in past years. Most people do the plunge to raise money for the cause, but some people have other reasons. Well, uh, the main reason is for charity. We raise money for the emergency squad. I figure if I have the willpower to jump in the river with a bunch of lunatics on January the 1st, maybe I'll have the willpower to get serious about a diet and not have to buy new pants. Donations were collected before the plunge, but the funds will continue coming in through checks sent directly to the Barber County Emergency Medical Squad. 
Stonewall Resort hosted a part rock show, part comedy performance called the Dueling Piano Experience on this New Year's Day. The performance took place in the resort's ballroom where there was also a cash bar for attendees. Resort officials say it's a unique and interactive experience with the dueling pianos. Guests were also encouraged to come early and enjoy dinner at TJ Muskie's Bar and Grill or Stillwater Restaurant. We've been playing together for about five years. Um, the show itself is an interactive all request show. Um, we play about every genre of music that we are requested as best we can. Um, we have no set list and the audience pretty much dictates what we do. We always tell them that we are human jukeboxes. Stonewall Resort offers overnight accommodation packages with event tickets included. Coming up next on 12 News Weekend Edition, a new business in Clarksburg that'll fill your free time with some friendly competition. We'll take you there right after the break. Stick with us. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas from the Miley Legal Group. I was in the hospital with my son for 18 months. When he got injured, I knew I had to be strong. I just remember rushing into his room and giving him a big hug and letting him know I was there. These veterans and families are just a few of the heroes we serve at Homes for Our Troops. We build specially adapted custom homes with features like wheelchair access and automatic door openers that allow them to focus on their recovery and family. This house is freedom. It's hope. It's a new beginning. Visit HFOTUSA.org. There! Uh, what do we do? You may not be able to plan ahead for a ghost encounter. Under the dining table now! But you can plan ahead for natural disasters. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Maybe it's the apocalypse. Know your evacuation routes and decide on a safe emergency meeting location. Here? I know. What a big Orlando. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. So pass the Proton Pack to the next generation and visit ready.gov slash plan to get started. Lauren was having trouble moving. Then her speech was slurred and her face drooped. A stroke seemed so unlikely. She was only 30. I had to react immediately. I called 911 and Lauren quickly received medical attention. Now we don't take anything for granted, especially spending time together as a family. Looking back, I'm so grateful I didn't hesitate to call 911. A quick reaction can make all the difference. Learn signs of stroke. Visit strokeawareness.com. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas from the Miley Legal Group. Follow Snowbird through all weather on WBOY. Brought to you by the Miley Legal Group. Working for you. This is 12 News Weekend Edition. Today is the first day of a new business of a new bowling alley in Clarksburg. Alley 304 is on East Pike Street where the old Compton Lanes bowling alley used to be. Along with new paint and flooring, Alley 304 has a snack bar, TV monitors, automatic scoring system, and 16 newly installed lanes. With new leadership on board, the manager hopes to fill a need in the community with this all-season activity by giving people who live here something to do in their free time. I didn't realize how much I was going to love having people in the building until we had it. It was really gratifying to see everybody here and having fun with their families and, like I said, all the different demographics that came out, dates and, and families and everything. Um, it's been really fun to watch everybody bowl again. It's just a really nice opportunity to get out of the house and get in here and um, have something fun and safe to do. Birthday parties are already being booked and the management plans to host themed events for holidays and other special occasions. The 133rd annual Rose Parade got underway today in Southern California. Actor and television host LeVar Burton served as the Grand Marshal to this year's parade, which was themed Dream Achieve Believe. And some West Virginians also participated in the parade. Bobby Conklin and Shaylin Dabbs applied to be in the parade early last year. Conklin held a banner and joined her brother from the Belpre City Schools marching band from Ohio. She's 
a Morgantown resident and is the director of business development for Steptoe and Johnson. Dabs played the clarinet while she marched and represented Doddridge County High School's marching band. We caught up with them before they took off to California about how they feel to be a part of this tradition. I was super excited. I'm a little nervous, obviously. So um, uh, they sent music, and there's um, several videos that we had to um, watch and learn marching techniques and maneuvers and everything. So we um, have to memorize uh, four pieces of music, and and so the process is a little rigorous, especially at this time of year. My brother and I are extremely close, and we actually just lost our dad in November. So doing this together has a little bit of a different meaning now. And I have, but I have the easy job. All I have to do is carry a flag for five and a half miles. So <laughs> I think it is a fantastic opportunity to do this as a family. Conklin and Dabs join Victor Lapalucci, the Philip Barber High School Band Director, as three West Virginians in the parade. Now, the area's most accurate forecast Storm Tracker 12 weather. Certified storm ready and powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration, the official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. Good evening. We have an eventful night here in North Central West Virginia. Flood warnings to the south and west here in our region expiring at around 2.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. Some will expire around 1 o'clock tomorrow morning. But those flood watches do continue into the morning hours as well. So make sure if you are out and about, make sure you take an extra time. Don't drive through any standing water. Turn around. Don't drown. Find a different way to get to your destination. Take your time. No injuries need to be um, associated with this. As we see here looking at our radar, uh, these stronger storms back to our west are beginning to push into Harrison into Marion and Taylor counties here and they are going to continue through the early morning hours with that dropping us some more rain much more than we've already seen those rivers and streams out there are reaching their peak point to where they will begin to flood even more across the region so make sure if you are out and about just take a little bit of extra time with that as we take a look at our predictor here into the early evening hours here Early morning hours, we can see right here this last little band of showers here. That is where that cold front is going to be pushing through the region, giving us that with that into early morning Sunday before it does begin to transition into some mixed precipitation and ice for later into Sunday afternoon and even into snow as we head into early Monday morning for our more eastern and southern counties here. You could see anywhere as more than an inch in some places, but most places across the region will just get a slight dusting for that. But then we do clear out nicely for our Monday, so we just have to get through these next 24 to 48 hours before we uh, have to deal with that. Looking at our rainfall total so far, this is what we have actually already seen across the area, 1.93 inches in Kingwood over two inches in Colton, Colton and Buchanan and we are going to continue to get more into that as of 48 hours from now we are expected to get anywhere between half an inch to a whole inch if not a little more added on to that that we are currently seeing so make sure you are taking that into account if you're heading out the door tomorrow morning and if we take a look at our seven day forecast or tomorrow rather 54 degrees and we will be cooling off as we head into the evening hours into the 20s actually overnight tomorrow as we look at our seven day forecast here 33 degrees on Monday. Once that snow moves out of the region, we have some sunshine planned. But first things first, make sure you are taking this into this flood warning in your mind because we don't want any injuries out there. Yes, a, a rough start to 2022, but drier days are ahead. Absolutely, we're and gonna turn good. it around. Yes, we are. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> we appreciate it. And now, with a look at our Mountaineers, here is your Mountaineer Minute. 
West Virginia head coach Neil Brown received some great news from one of his top defensive players on the very first day of the calendar year on Saturday. That player was linebacker Josh Chandler Semito, who announced he is returning to WVU for his final season of college football. Chandler Semito led West Virginia with 110 total tackles this season. He also recorded one and a half sacks and picked off a pair of passes in the regular season finale against Kansas. The senior linebacker has wrecked up 254 tackles during his tenure at WVU. Saturday, though, wasn't as pleasant for the WVU men's basketball team, which suffered a 15-point loss in the Big 12 opener on the road against number 17, Texas. The Mountaineers played without Taz Sherman, Gabe Osaboyan, and Kobe Johnson. Jalen Bridges led the way with 18 points, and Damon Kerrigan grabbed nine rebounds, but turnovers was the story of this one for WVU. That being said, we can't turn it over 20 times, you know, particularly when they've been told since uh, since we started official practice that what's going to what's going to beat us is ourselves turning the ball over, and we turned it over 20 times. We're not going to win turning it over 20 times, particularly not against a team like that. Find a full recap and more post game reaction at our website goldenbluenation.com. That's the latest on the Mountaineers here in Morgantown. I'm Ryan Decker. Khalil MacGyver, 12 News, working for you. Prepare to feel good in 2022. Join Planet Fitness now for zero enrollment, 10 bucks a month till January 6th. Enjoy tons of equipment in our clean clubs for zero enrollment. Zero enrollment? And 10 bucks a month. That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. <laughs> it's all about the endorphins, baby. What's up? It's this place, I tell you. Amen, baby. Feel Fitacular in 2022 for zero enrollment, $10 a month, cancel anytime. Deal ends January 6th. Start your new year off with a look from Jack's Furniture Center. Jack's New Year's Day sale extravaganza is going on now. You can count on one thing for sure. Everything in the store is marked down to unbelievable savings. Plus get a cash discount up to 20% off or up to four years interest-free financing. Everything you love about furniture is at Jack's Furniture Center. Quality, design, selection, low prices, and special discounts. Plus immediate delivery on stock merchandise. The New Year's Day sale extravaganza everyone has been waiting for at Jack's Furniture Center, East Point, Clarksburg. Oh, there's something so real about living local. And I know without a doubt I'm not alone. And I love to live in local. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. WBOI is living local. It's the only kind of air. What do we do? You may not be able to plan ahead for a ghost encounter. Under the dining table now! But you can plan ahead for natural disasters. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Maybe it's the apocalypse. Know your evacuation routes and decide on a safe emergency meeting location. Here? I know. What a big Orlando. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. So pass the proton pack to the next generation and visit ready.gov slash plan to get started. Follow Snowbird through all weather on WBOY. Brought to you by Glenville State College. Don Gray, 12 News, working for you. The 2022 Winter Olympics are coming February 4th, and only WBOY is your official home for exclusive Team USA coverage. From the speed of the slopes to the artistry on ice, the best of the best will gather to compete, and we'll have team coverage of your local athletes live from Beijing. Don't miss our live reports from the 2022 Winter Olympics, beginning February 4th, only on WBOI. Sheriff officials say three people are missing after a wildfire destroyed more than 900 homes in Colorado. An additional 127 structures were damaged in the Marshall Fire, which has burned over 6,000 acres as of today. The Boulder County Sheriff says those missing person cases would likely turn into recovery operations. Meanwhile, tens of thousands of homes in Boulder County are still under mandatory evacuation orders. Unfortunately, with the snow overnight, we had a tremendous project on extinguishing the fire. Uh, we are currently still at 6,025 acres in total burn size. 
Fire trucks and personnel are still in the area. They've been able to shift their focus from responding to flare-ups and helping with damage assessment and that kind of thing. Beginning on January 1st or today at about 1 o'clock, all areas currently under pre-evacuation will be lifted in the city of Louisville. Some, some residents within the Marshall Fire Area in the city of Louisville will be allowed to return to their homes. If your home is in a hard closure area, in other words, an area that's just simply closed, you will not be allowed to return home at this time. Roads included in the hard closure uh, will be also on the OEM website. If your home is within a soft closure area in the city of Louisville, an ID will be required for re-entry. And that Colorado community is coming together to help some of those wildfire evacuees. The YMCA of Northern Colorado and Lafayette opened as a Red Cross shelter after dangerous wildfires ripped through Boulder County, forcing many to evacuate. About 125 people are sheltering there. On Friday, volunteers at the shelter handed out nearly 1,000 space heaters donated by Excel Energy. The YMCA of Northern Colorado said on Twitter that due to the community's generosity, they are no longer in need of supplies, volunteers, or food donations at this time. You know, I've never had to use the service of the Red Cross before, but I got nothing but great things to say about them. There are a lot of different emotions, a lot of people experiencing a lot of different things, and we are so very grateful. We've had uh, dozens and dozens of people showing up, offering to volunteer, offering to help any way they can. It's really brought the community together, I think, is the biggest thing, and, and people helping people is the story of today. Investigations are still ongoing into the cause of the fire. Some say appreciation is underrated. At a time when employees are leaving their jobs, a thank you goes a long way to making them feel valued. That's the spark behind a company that got its start just before the pandemic, highlighting the currency of compliments. Noelle Walker has the story. Burger House, can I help you? It's lunchtime. <laughs> what can I get you? At Burger House. Two coats. Did you want medium or large? Okay, go ahead and pull up at the window. Please. Jose Castaneda. Friday is a wonderful day. Serves burgers and fries. How are you doing today? Good? Good, good. good. <laughs> With a side of good vibes. Well, thanks for coming. I make them feel like the whatever bad vibe they had throughout the day, it goes away. Burger House wanted a way to give employees the thanks they deserve. And to be honest with you, I was just getting fed up with negative negative stuff. You, go, you can go to Yelp, you can go anywhere, and it's, it's basically negative. So the DFW restaurant chain started using Highlight. Customers scan a QR code or send a text to give an employee a virtual pat on the back for a job well done. And I had worked in corporate America for over 10 years, first at Merrill Lynch, then at Goldman Sachs, and every day I saw the power of positive feedback in terms of motivating employees. Founder and CEO Marissa Fetter Hoxter started Highlight just before the pandemic started what's being called the Great Resignation. Retention is about so much more than, than compensation. And I think employees want to want to know that they're uh, they're valued and appreciated and that they're making an impact in their day-to-day -day work. Getting recognition puts a song in Ellie's heart. It's a little gratification in this thankless job sometimes, you know? It's an instant smile on my face. I'm like, oh, I didn't even know I did that. And you can't put a price on that. Thank you. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Have a great day. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. See you next time. Take care. Stay right there. Josh is back with another look at our forecast right after this. Follow Snowbird and WBOY Storm Tracker 12 throughout the weather season. Brought to you by Grog's Heating and Cooling. The more you see, come along for the ride. It's going to be a hoot. The more you do, get ready to travel around the world. The more you know, weekends on NBC. Here's your WBOY Children's Weekend lineup. At 6 a.m., it's Earth Odyssey with Dylan Dreyer. Wild Child at 6.30. Roots Less Traveled at 11. And One Team, The Power of Sports at 11.30. No man, no woman, no one left behind. 
For the VFW, it's a credo that stands long after our fighting days are over. Because our service never stops. We're still serving, which is why we pledge to help our own, no matter where they are or when they need us. Standing in lockstep with those who stood so courageously for everyone else. It's what makes us the VFW. NBC and Peacock present the Packers are looking to lock down a number one seed. But for the division rival Vikings, their path to the playoffs will be a fight to the finish. Vikings, Packers, Sunday Night Football on NBC and Peacock, home of Super Bowl 56. NFL Sunday Night Football is brought to you locally on WBOY by V Sponsor. Dan, yeah, you need to go. Really? It's important. I feel fine. Look, you cannot mess around with this kind of stuff. Some cancers, that... man, we just don't want to lose you from something we could have caught. What I need to do? You just give your doctor a call. And they'll tell you what screening test you need. Fine. Can I have my pie now? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> adopted, I kind of felt alone. I felt nervous that I wouldn't have a family. And I didn't think I was going to get adopted because I knew I was getting older and older and older. I didn't think that was going to happen. Every child deserves a safe, loving, and permanent home. Help the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption find homes for those waiting in foster care the longest. Donate now at DaveThomasFoundation.org slash give. Welcome back. Josh is here with one final look at our forecast. That flood warning is still in effect until 2.30 tomorrow morning, so make sure you are being extra careful as you, if you head out on those roads. Remember, just follow us on all of our social media platforms, and we'll give you the latest updates throughout the night. Yes, and stay safe, everyone. That's all the time we have for 12 News Weekend Edition. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be back here tomorrow at 6 with all the latest local news, sports, and weather. Have a good night, everyone.